And coming up next, our main event, a matchup for the UFC middleweight division title. Well, don't let the looks fool you, folks. This man is a killer. The former UFC middleweight champion, Luke Rockhold. Devastating loss of the title to his longtime rival, Michael Bisping. But a lot of people believe on Rockhold's best night, you are still looking at the best and most dangerous 185-pound fighter in the world. As he makes his way towards the cage, his preparation has been perfect. He is in fantastic shape, had an amazing camp, and he believes that he is in the perfect position to become the new champion of the world. As he steps into the octagon right now, he steps in with a champion's mindset. So here he is, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world. This man ubiquitously regarded as the top 85er at present. Some people believe this is the greatest middleweight of all time. He certainly does, and he has goals even beyond that. He wants to be one of the greatest mixed martial arts athletes of all time. And in order to preserve that goal, this is a title defense, simply put, that he's got to have. The champion headed to the cage right now is in the groove. He is in his prime right now. His training for this bout has been perfect. He believes he has a solid game plan, and he's ready to step in here and retain his title. He is well prepared for this contest. All right, now our tale of the tape for this middleweight championship fight. Rockhold is three years his senior. He is four inches taller. He will have a four-inch reach advantage here is bruce buffett ladies and gentlemen this is the main event of the evening and when the action begins our referee in charge of the octagon dan mergliotta and now this is the moment ufc fans around the world have been waiting for Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 78 wins, 31 losses. He stands 6 feet 3 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting for the Santa Cruz, California, presenting the challenger, Luke Rock. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 48 wins, three losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of London, England, presenting the reigning, defending UFC undisputed middleweight champion of the world, the Assassin. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, to back your corners. I am fun. very fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming. The fans have been anticipating this for a long time, and it is going to go right, down right, right, right now. Let's go all right, here we go. UFC middleweight championship fight. This should be good. All right, so here he is, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC champion out of the red corner. Many of you remember his title defense not all that long ago. He won it by knockout. And most of the guys, the number one contender types who have risen to a title shot, have succumbed to his power. They think they know what it feels like, and then all of a sudden they get in the octagon, and they just can't take the pop. So we'll see how he... Oh! This could be it! Beautiful. 
Universal Strike here to end the fight early in the first. Yes, sir, it goes into the books as a first-round win by knockout, near-perfect execution. The technique was absolutely gorgeous, and again, when you catch a guy early, maybe you're getting him cold before he's had a chance to work up a sweat or even get into the fight a little bit, those strikes can have a bigger effect, and it certainly did here tonight. Here it is one more time. I mean, just stiff. And there's the UFC middleweight king. Best fighter in the world at 185 pounds. What a knockout he turned in here tonight. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest. At one minute, 15 seconds of the very first round. He's going the winner by knockout and still. pounders there he is the undisputed UFC middleweight champion after the knockout tonight in his title defense and that's got to feel pretty good there were a lot of people backing the number one contender coming in here tonight but he certainly muted all of that noise and then some the celebration is on in the corner congratulations to the reigning defending still undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world